Mr. H, and today we're going to learn to play line 45 on page 43 of the Essential Elements book for band book one. First, we'll play this on my clarinet. I'm going to turn on my metronome. Here go, ready, and go. Okay, that's how to play that line. You can try it yourself if you think you understand it, or we will just go on and we'll go in a little more detail. All right, when we're figuring out a rhythm, I like to ta and tap it. And what that means is we're going to tap a beat, and my finger's going to go down and up, and it's going to keep a steady beat just like on the metronome. So I'm going to turn my metronome on. And the tap would be just like the metronome, very steady with downs and ups. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. And then each uh, note that you see or line that you would see here, the rest would be on a down and the note would be on the up. So we tap a beat and then we say ta for the rhythm. If I see a note, I'm going to say ta. And if I see a rest, I'm going to say mm, just to keep a place. One thing to warn you about right away is a lot of students have trouble with these two eighth notes right here. And what happens is they see these eighth notes and they think they go fast uh, because they're connected, but they don't go fast. Every one of these notes goes the same speed. So if I were to just do the first measure for you, it would be Mm, ta 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 mm, ta 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 and the biggest mistake I see is people go like this mm, ta 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 mm, ta 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 so these are not fast notes they're the same speed also if we look over here you'll see four notes uh, together these are also eighth notes they just have this one beam uh, just like these have one beam so they're eighth notes, they go the same speed. So again, all of these notes are eighth notes and all of these notes will go the same speed. All right, first we'll ta and tap it with the metronome. Ready and go. Mm ta ta ta, mm ta ta ta, mm ta mm ta mm ta mm ta. Ta 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 mm ta mm ta 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 mm ta mm ta ta ta. Okay, and we could do that again, um, but but this time I'm just going to show you the downs and ups as it goes. So I won't tap my fingers, but remember my tap is just like the metronome. Ready and go. Mm ta ta ta. Mm ta ta ta. Mm ta mm ta mm ta mm ta. Ta 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 ta. Mm ta mm ta. Ta ta mm ta mm ta ta ta. Okay. Um, so that's again how you would ta and tap this. I did just notice that some of these aren't lined up exactly right. Sorry about that. Uh, we may have to fix that in another video in the future. Okay, so a lot of people also uh, do rhythms by counting and clapping. So we'll do that also. And this is great for percussionists. Um, but a lot of people learn to count and clap as well. In this case, we are clapping the rhythm. So we're clapping the notes and we are counting the beat. And my counting, again, is the same as the metronome. So I actually have a metronome that will count for me. Four, what I would do with one, my voice and is two, do this and exact three, same counting. And four, and one and two and ready and go. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and. One and two and three and four and 
one and two and three and four and one and two okay three and if i tried that with my clarinet one more time i'm going to turn my metronome on to count for me or it's not counting for me but it's helping me count just because the metronome is counting doesn't mean i don't have to think myself one and two and three, ready and, and go four, and one and two and three Okay, so hopefully this helps you learn to play line 45. Uh, if you need more practice, you'll want to look at each measure individually and go slower even. Uh, even at this speed, it may be too fast. So there's nothing wrong with going slower and definitely practicing one measure at a time. Okay, see you next time.